Hi, it's Tricia here from Equine Energetics. With your horse buying checklist from an animal communicator's point of view. If you're looking for a new horse, you might already have written a list of the things that you're looking for. Things like temperament, a certain breed, maybe certain height or age. It might be a specific discipline that you're looking for and the training that they've had. And there might be um, non-negotiables on your list, like your upper price limit or um, minimum or maximum age or health. So, other things you need to think about when you're horse shopping are things like um, questions only the owner can give you answers to. So, how long have they had this horse? What did they do with him? What's his diet? Um, in New Zealand, diet and uh, reaction to what a horse is being fed is a big issue um, with horses getting grass affected and um, ryegrass staggers and things like that. So you need to know what they're eating and will they cope if they're moved to a different area of the country, for instance. You might want to know what his competition record is or his health record. Has he had any injuries? When's the last time he saw the vet? Are his vaccinations up to date? When did he last have his teeth done? All those sorts of things. You might also want to ask more specific questions like, how does he lead? You know, how polite is he? How well-mannered is he? What does he behave like for the farrier or the horse dentist? How does he load and travel? What is he like with other horses, whether it's in a field or paddock with them, riding with them? Can he ride out on his own? How is he to bring back into work if he's had a lot of time off? Um, so lots of things you need to think about. And I think the more specific you can be, the better. You're looking for your ideal horse, probably. He needs to tick all these boxes. So there are no stupid questions. Ask them all. Remember, if an owner is a bit iffy about answering your questions, then this might not be the horse for you, or it might be that they're hiding something. They should be happy to share all that information. You could even um, get a vet check, obviously, to rule out various things like unsoundness. And if it's a really expensive horse, that might include x-rays, for instance. You could even talk to or look for other people who might know the horse, might be people from the same riding club, people who compete in the same circles, it could be the farrier. Ask around, what do people know about the horse? Does he fit your bill? Now here's where an animal communicator comes into it. With an animal communication session, you can find out things like, are you and this horse actually meant to be together? What kind of relationship will you have? Is this horse suited to your purpose? Does he want to do that? So he might be suited to jumping, but does he like jumping? Does he have a good work ethic for jumping? Does he have old injuries that aren't obvious or that maybe the owner forgot about or didn't tell you about? And are they affecting him now or will they affect him in the future? What are his likes and dislikes? Um, is his current tack fitting okay? How are his feet? Are they balanced? All those sorts of things. If you've got a large list of horses that are possibles, 
you're probably not going to do an animal communication session with all of them. Having said that, if it saves you from driving all over the country looking at dozens of horses and the costs in time and petrol that that takes up, maybe it's worth it to help you narrow down your, your search and eliminate the horses that really aren't suited to you. So an animal communication session is worth considering for your horse buying checklist. It could just give you that final clarity and reassurance that you're looking for. Hope that helps and keep connecting with your horses.